द नॉलेज लाइब्रेरी डेली करंट अफेयर्स न्यूज हेडलाइंस फिफ्थ दिसंबर 2023 National News The Officers Training Academy there wore a traditional military look on the occasion of the 24th passing out parade of 101 officers of the technical entry scheme TES 42 including 7 officers from friendly foreign countries and 27 officers of special commissioned officers corps SCO 51 Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar stressed that differently able people deserve recognition for their wealth of knowledge, aptitude, inclination and expertise. He emphasized the need to create an ecosystem whereby disabled people are empowered. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jaishankar interacted with Indian students and young professionals in Dubai on Saturday. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said providing benefits of government schemes to the marginalized and deprived people is the top priority of his government. In a virtual interaction with the beneficiaries of several central government welfare schemes on Saturday, Prime Minister Narendra Modi exchanged views with common people as part of the Viksit Bharat Sankalp Yatra. National Investigation Agency NIA arrested 15 operatives of Islamic State of Iraq and Syria ISIS across Maharashtra and Karnataka during multiple raids In a massive crackdown on the banned terror outfit NIA teams swooped down on 44 locations in Padghaburivli Thane Meera Road and Pune in Maharashtra Union Minister of Railways Ashwini Vaishnav said that All citizens must commit themselves to make India a developed country by 2047. Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman said that ensuring 100% saturation of the central government schemes is the key objective of Viksit Bharat Sankalp Yatra. Union Minister for Petroleum and Natural Gas, Housing and Urban Affairs Hardeep Singh Puri today said that the union government led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has never adopted a partisan approach with regard to distribution of benefits to the people. Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances Dalpag has launched the scheme and web portal for national awards for e-governance name. The objective of the scheme is to recognize and promote excellence in the implementation of e-governance initiatives. India has been placed 7th in this year's climate change performance index CCPI. The country improved one rank from the previous one and also remained among the highest performers. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said India's GDP growth of 7.7% in the first 6 months of the current fiscal is a reflection of the country's strengthening economy and the transformative reforms carried out in the last 10 years. addressing the infinity forum 2.0 conference raksha mantri rajnath singh has said that india is the fastest growing major economy in the world and its growth has come in a position to have a major positive impact on the growth of other countries of the world union minister of state for external affairs v mulidran has said that the center is devising several programs and making all out efforts to improve the living conditions of ordinary people in the country The festival showcased the rich cultural heritage and traditions of India and Nepal with a focus on Buddhism. State news. The Central Bureau of Investigation (CBI) has filed a charge sheet before the special judge, CBI court at Guwahati, Assam against nine accused in an ongoing investigation of a case. Manipur police rescued a student from kidnappers and arrested the eight suspected kidnappers along with sophisticated arms and ammunition. Ministers of Telangana State Cabinet have been given portfolios on Saturday. Chief Minister A Ravant Reddy has given the list of portfolios to Governor Dr Tamilisai Sondarajan on Saturday morning and the same have been issued in a gazette notification a short while ago. Tamil Nadu CM announces 6000 rupees as relief measure for those affected by cyclone. The first session of the third assembly of Telangana state has been adjourned till Thursday, 14th of December after members took the oath. Chief Minister of Telangana A Ravant Reddy said all six guarantees which were assured by the Congress party ahead of elections will be implemented in 100 days. Union Minister of State for Information Technology Rajiv Chandrasekhar visited the cyclone Michaung affected areas near Chennai and Kachipuram in Tamil Nadu. In Punjab, the centers opened under the Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Aushthi Parijna in the private and government sectors are working successfully. 
1200 types of medicines and 147 types of surgical instruments are available to people at very affordable prices at these centers. The India Meteorological Department IMD, has forecast a fresh spell of rainfall with isolated heavy falls likely over South Peninsula India till Sunday. International News Russia fired a barrage of cruise missiles at Ukrainian targets early on Friday morning, marking the end of an almost 80-day pause. The Union Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change Bhupender Yadav today presented India's national statement at COP28 in Dubai, UAE. Russian President Vladimir Putin has declared his candidacy for the country's presidential election scheduled for March next year. German politician and a senior member of the European Parliament Peter Lees has said that clubbing India with emitters like China and the US is completely unacceptable. Ministry of External Affairs Secretary, West, Sanjay Verma has completed a significant diplomatic visit to Liechtenstein and Switzerland yesterday. During the visit to Liechtenstein, Mr. Verma met Ambassador Martin Frick, Director, Office of Foreign Affairs for Bilateral Discussions. COP28's flagship youth, children, skills, and education day marked a historic moment as it hosted the first ever youth stock take, emphasizing the pivotal role of young people in climate diplomacy. The US embassy compound in Baghdad has been hit with a multi-mortar attack yesterday. The attack targeted the heavily fortified green zone, which houses Iraqi government buildings and embassies. Approximately seven mortar rounds were landed in the embassy compound. 9th December 2023, Dubai, as COP28 enters its second week, over 800 signatories and counting from a broad spectrum of society joined forces to call on Sultan al Jaber and all parties to deliver a 1.5C aligned outcome in response to the global stocktake because later is too late. The US has vetoed a UN Security Council resolution put forward by the UE calling for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza. Out of total 15 Security Council members, 13 members voted in favor of the resolution, while US voted against and UK abstained. Sports News In the FIH Junior Mains Hockey World Cup, India beat Canada 10-1 in their last group stage game in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia on Saturday. Youth Affairs and Sports Ministry has said that athletes participating in the Khelo India Para Games, which is set to begin tomorrow, will receive comprehensive medical coverage. Thank you have a nice day ahead. Like share and subscribe our channel.